Welcome San Francisco 49ers fans. This is the 49ers franchise in Madden NFL 19. Today the San Francisco 49ers will be taking on none other than the Minnesota Vikings in this week one affair of two Titans clashing. Two Titans today will be going ahead and be looking at Jimmy Garoppolo versus Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins coming from Washington after signing a huge deal with the Minnesota Vikings and of course Jimmy G being traded to the San Francisco 49ers from the New England Patriots. Last season Jimmy G led his team to a 6-0 record after, start, after finally becoming the starter for their team. The Minnesota Vikings went to the NFC Championship game where they were destroyed by the Philadelphia Eagles who went ahead and went and won the Super Bowl. Now, of course, that team was led by Case Keenum. Now, in a different direction, we will be seeing this team led by none other than Kirk Cousins. Some players to highlight for this video is going to be Kyle Rudolph, the tight end for the Minnesota Vikings. Obviously, very, very good tight end. And also, can be kind of a replacement for Kirk Cousins, who is coming from the Washington Redskins and his main target being Jordan Reed. Getting right into the ball game, let's go ahead and start with the kickoff. The uh, Vikings are going to go ahead and kick off to the 49ers, meaning Jimmy G gets his first performance on the field of the 2018 season. Hopefully, it's a good one. So starting off right away, let's look at Mr. Jimmy G. As you can see right here, he's an 83 overall, 94 throw power, 83 throw accuracy, and 86 throw aware oh, sorry, awareness. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get right into the actual gameplay. And first off, we're going to go ahead and run the ball with Jerry McKinnon, who gets stopped for a negative four-yard loss. Next play later, the Minnesota Vikings are all over the run game for the San Francisco 49ers, giving them no choice but have to throw a deep pass on third and 17, which is broken up and incompleted. Now going ahead and skipping to the Minnesota Vikings' first drive on offense, hopefully a little bit better than the San Francisco 49ers, who did go ahead and go straight three and out. First play of the game, they're going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Minnesota Vikings offense, starting with the line, and then of course to the receivers and halfback and quarterback. Now going second and seven, uh, they're going to go ahead and go right back to Dalvin Cook, who honestly, if it wasn't for an injury last year, could have been in contention for Rookie of the Year on offense. The man was a monster before he went down with an injury. Now, of course, we're looking at the San Francisco 49ers defense, led by none other than Ruben Foster. Third down and five here after two runs for about five yards, and he's going to throw a deep pass, and it's incomplete pass by Kirk Cousins. So, yes, we will have another punt. Now, this punt is actually a pretty good punt down to about the one-yard line. Not a bad punt, to say the least. But, Jake McKinnon shows why he is a monster. Jake McKinnon just joining the team this year from the Minnesota Vikings. Goes ahead and runs it for 16 yards. Next play later, he's going to bust away another run for about 9 yards. My bad, 8 yards. Next play later, goes ahead and gets a first down. Now moving the chains a little bit. So, of course, the first drive of the San Francisco 49ers was stalled and ended up in a punt. This drive seems to have a little bit more of life. Of course, right here we have the San Francisco 49ers taking a look at their squad and how good their squad honestly is. Second down and eight here, they're going to be a check down to the wide receiver for about uh, two yards. Third down and six here and another first down by the San Francisco 49ers. Finally, it looks like they are actually converting first downs and getting the ball down the field. Now, this is the end of the first quarter. We're going to go ahead and be back in the second quarter and hopefully one of these teams can go ahead and actually get some points on the board. First down and 10 at the 45 yard line. A check down to the left hand side on a drag route. We'll get down to the 32 yard line. Jerry McKinnon next play later goes ahead and gets about negative one yards. Second down 11, another run. And this is actually going to be some positive yards, about four yards. Third down and seven here and it's a pass to the right hand side and a broken tackle right there. Nice block also is going to go ahead and lead to a catch. Next play later, that's going to be a touchdown just like that. San Francisco on the board to Pio Garçon and that's going to give them the lead in this ball game. 
seven to nothing. Amazing pass by Jimmy Garoppolo. Amazing catch by Garcon. Just beating man on man coverage to the outside here, and it's just a beautiful play. Definitely a nice uh, way to start off the 2018 season, giving the San Francisco 49ers a seven to nothing lead. So going back to the Minnesota Vikings, it looks like they are still they are still determined to keep on running the ball every single play. Second down eight here, they're going to check it down to Dalvin Cook. Third down and inches, a play action pass, and he is sacked by the San Francisco 49ers solo man Thomas with the sack on that play. Now let's go ahead and go on to halftime. So the Minnesota Vikings did not really go ahead and do anything that first half. They had a very tough time against the San Francisco 49ers defense. Obviously, the same concept applies to the 49ers, only having one successful drive the whole entire first half. Now let's go ahead and go around the league for this halftime show. First game we'll be looking at is going to be the Buffalo Bills versus the Baltimore Ravens. At the minute, it looks like the Ravens are going ahead and leading 7-3 against the Buffalo Bills right before halftime. Joe Flacco having a decent day with only 74 yards. Next game we'll be looking at is going to be the Jaguars versus the Giants. And the Jags are currently destroying the Giants at halftime. 21-0. Blake Bortles is having a day in New York. And finally, our last game we'll be looking at is the Saints versus Buccaneers. The Saints are currently winning 14-3 versus the, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As you can see, Drew Brees having a good day so far. Now going ahead and getting back into our current game, let's go ahead and watch some highlights of that first half of play. Right here we have Jerick McKenna who went ahead and had a pretty nice beginning of the game. Definitely a very nice asset to the San Francisco 49ers. And it's going to be someone who is probably going to have a pretty good season this year, if I had to say so myself. First out of 10 after halftime, a negative two-yard run by uh, Dalvin Cook. Next play later, another run that goes nowhere. Definitely not having a good day, to say the least, for the Minnesota Vikings offense. They could not run the ball, and every time they try to pass the ball, it seems like the pass rush of the 14 of the Vikings are always in the face. Oh, sorry, 49s are always in the face. Uh, after a fumble on first down, second down and 22, and it looks like they get almost the first down, third down and inches, and they're going to go ahead and do a pitch play to the right-hand side and pick up about 30 yards. First down and 10, um, they're going to go ahead and throw it to the right-hand side. Almost for a touchdown here, so close down to the four-yard line. Next play later, Jake McCann is going to bulldoze his way in the end zone for a touchdown. Let's go ahead and watch that play back, and let's watch how Jerick McKinnon literally buoys his way into the end zone here for a touchdown. Let's go and watch this. You see he gets the ball. Bam, bam, just pushes the defenders out of the way, slowly but surely getting in the end zone. This is why amazing blocking can make any team a super solid team. First down and 10 now, and the Vikings are starting on the 41-yard line, down by two touchdowns. Definitely not in the situation that they wanted to be in coming in this game. Second down and one, they're going to run the ball. Finally picking up some actual yardage in this game. So far, as I said, they have not been able to do anything on the ground. And it looks like this is the first time on that play was the first time they actually got some positive yardage. Second down and 14 here, a complete me a mess up by the cornerback is going to lead them to catch the ball. Next play later on, third and two. San Francisco jumps off sides because Kirk Cousins hard counts them. And he ends up getting them offside. So first down and 10. Next play later. Go ahead and throw it to the right hand side. On Richard Sherman. The new acquisition from the Seattle Seahawks. Second down and 2 here. A completion down to the 14 yard line. <clears throat> first down and 10 here. They're going to run to the right hand side. And again. Just the whole game has just been the same. You know storybook ending. Over and over again. They got to just do something else than running the ball. Obviously, Minnesota does not want to become one-dimensional because if they do, they're going to be in a bad spot. Third down and 11, they run the ball, surprisingly. Fourth down and six here. They're going to go ahead and throw it to the right-hand side. Almost picked off. That would have been a pick six, and that would have been the end of the game. Most likely, no chance of them coming back. Now, skipping forward to the end of the game here. First down and 10, they're going to throw the ball to the left-hand side. Incomplete pass. Oh, sorry, three-yard pass. Second down and seven across the middle of the field. They need to hurry up on every one of these plays because they need to conserve as much time as possible. 
They have 126 left in this game. They're down by two scores. They need a touchdown. They need to get the ball back. And they do have three timeouts left, which means they're in a good spot. And Minnesota is going to go ahead and throw the ball down the field to the seven-yard line. Next play later, all day to throw this pass rush that has been killing the running back cannot get to the quarterback. First and goal, incomplete pass out of the back of the end zone. Second and goal here at the 12-yard line. Uh, Cousins going to throw across the middle. And it's a touchdown pass. Insane catch by Kendall Wright in the middle of the end zone. It looked like that might have been a one-handed catch. Let's watch the replay and see what that ended up being. This was a, was that a one-handed catch? Let's watch this one more time. And that's a one-handed catch for a touchdown. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is now a ball game. 14 to seven, Minnesota has made a comeback. And it looks like onside kick attempt is a fail by yours truly, Minnesota. Nonetheless, though, after a first down run, Minnesota was able to go ahead and stop the clock and go ahead and get the ball back with one more opportunity left down by uh, 10 points in a very tricky situation. They have to go ahead and try to win this game, but it doesn't look like that will be the case. So the San Francisco 49ers starting out 1-0 in this Madden 19 franchise, beating the Minnesota Vikings at home 17 to 7. Honestly, Minnesota Vikings, you guys have to get better at stop trying to rely on the run every single play and rely more on the passing game. Very big mistakes by them. Obviously, San Francisco did not have a great time on offense either with the fact they only scored, of course, until the very end. Pretty much, they had the whole game. They only scored seven points. So you see right here, passing yards go to the Minnesota Vikings. Rushing goes to the 49ers. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. If you like this franchise series, let's get this video to 50 likes. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.